Warning, this is a high level vampire survivors video that features very high levels of amounts of enemies and attacks on the screen. People with photo, photo sensitivities, please take precautions. Like with Iceberg Gaming here in today's Vampire Survivors video, we are closing in on 1 billion gold, and I am going to be showing you how to do it. Now, it's a little bit hard to see the numbers here with uh, everything flashing and the numbers counting up so quickly, so let me go ahead and pause the game here so we can see this a little better. So here we've got the 1, 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, million, 10 million, 100 million. So we're at 965 million gold here, so we're going to wait to tick this over to a billion. I'm interested to see if the game even counts to a billion here, but uh, we're coming up on it right now. We're at uh, 998. 999. And let's see what happens. There's 1 billion. There it is, 1 billion. So to get the 1 billion gold in this run, it's taken us just under 3 hours, we're at 171 minutes, and it's taken 1.1 uh, million kills, and our character is level 7,100. Here's our end screen in case anyone is interested here. So there is the billion gold, 7,100 level, uh, so we did uh, 4... 131 gigillion damage that comes out to 8 80 million dps with our greatest jubilee and then <laughs> for 40 million dps with our sarabond of healing holy cow so um 7, levels 7000 levels of our our fireworks greatest jubilee <laughs> insane The first step you're going to start with is my AFK gold farming method with Queen Sigma. This is going to be in the Bone Zone Endless Mode. And you're going to want to take the um, the Mask, the Toronto Box, Skull, the uh, Crown, the Attract Orb, and the Clover. Not exactly the ones I have on the screen. I have perfected my method since then. I also recommend you pick up the Vicious Hunger... Uh, that's the eyeball that turns enemies into gold with your turbo candy that you'll get for if you're playing the game long enough. Uh, that's not strictly necessary, but I think at this point of your gold farming career, it will add more gold per hour. So I do recommend it at this point. And you're going to do this to about 20 to 30 million gold. It should take you around like 12 in-game hours of AFK, so... Do it overnight a couple nights or at work a couple days and you will get there. And then you're going to use those, uh, all that gold on your big trouser and buy all the eggs. Buy eggs with, buy as many eggs as you can afford with the gold that you've got. Just spend it all on eggs on big trouser. And you're going to do this until your big trouser gets to around like a couple, uh, like 3,000 or so golden eggs. Like right here, I have almost 3,600. That's that's where you want to switch over and start gold farming with the trouser. It's after this point that your trouser will start to become more powerful than your Queen Sigma. Maybe even a little early earlier, but uh, just to err on the side of caution, this is where I recommend you switch over to farming with the trouser. And at this point, you are going to use the same method that you used with Queen Sigma for Trouser. You're going to use her weapon, the uh, the uh, Victory Sword, uh, and, and you're going to do the same method, the same skills that I have here on the screen, except you're going to use the Victory Sword instead of the Greatest Jubilee. And you're going to want to farm on your big Trouser with the Queen Sigma weapon for another, uh, another few thousand eggs or so. Probably till you get around 10,000 eggs would be my guess. That's when it just becomes irrelevant what weapon you use. 
It's also around this point that I recommend you stop getting the Vicious Hunger with your second weapon from the candy box. At this point, the extra levels that you get from Trouser's ability where he gains greed per level is going to be worth more. So we want to level up our Trouser as much as possible. So we don't want to convert the enemies into gold. We want to get the experience from them. And once you're around 10,000 eggs or so, this is the strategy that you're going to use. So we're going to take Big Trouser with one weapon. See, I've got uh, 363,000 eggs here on this guy. Look at these stats. They're incredible. Uh, you And see my video on how to spend all your gold at once so you don't give yourself arthritis clicking the, the buy egg over and over again. But we're going to take Big Trouser. We are going to do Hyper Hurry, Arcanist, Limit Break, Inverse, and Endless. Now... Limit Break, you can get away with not using, uh, but I like it because it uh, it keeps the it keeps killing things faster and faster, which means more gold. So I do recommend you stick with Limit Break, uh, even though it is tempting to drop Limit Break so you get the money every time you level up instead. You can also look at the Bat Country. I, I did a little bit of testing, and I think the Bone Zone edges it out just a little bit, but Bat Country definitely works as well. So we're going into the Bone Zone with Hyper Hurry, Arcanist, Limit Break, Inverse, and Endless. Now it is very not very important, but it is important that you get inver inverse as well. So now we're going to go ahead and get started. And right away we get to choose our weapon with the big trouser. We want the greatest jubilee because that gives us a chance to summon light sources, which can give us more gold. Now first thing we are going to take is Wick Wicked Season. And then we're going to come up here and so they get to this big trouser here. And we're going to buy an Arcanus. This is only an option when you have inverse on. So we're going to take that real quick. And then we are going to get Disco of Gold real quick right away with that. And then we are going to do our level ups here. And so we are going to take our abilities. So we want Crown. We want Clover. We want Toronto's Box. Toronto's Box, as I like to call it. Uh, and we want... Um, it's not going give, to give us what we want here. We want the Skull. We want the Stone Mask. We want the Attract Orb. And now I'm going to go ahead and, and go through this real quick and just level them all up. And then once everything is leveled up, we're going to turn on random uh, random limit break so we don't have to click it every time. Otherwise, we're just going to go crazy. And now basically from here, it's an AFK farm. You can move around a little bit. You can go get the power-ups if you so desire. But it doesn't really matter at this point. So basically, we're just going to sit here and rake in the gold. Now if your game starts to get very laggy and you don't appear to be getting credit for picking up chests or anything like that you can't get to the pause menu or anything like that don't worry that is normal with this many attacks and enemies going off it is uh it is normal to have some major lag now as i mentioned at some point you are going to get the uh the candy turbo and i do recommend that you skip it because we want to keep leveling up our greatest jubilee and for our third Randomazo Arcana, we are going to reroll until we get to the Mad Groove. It looks like the tree. We're going to go ahead and grab it. So now we got the uh, Wicked Season, Disco of Gold, and number three is the Mad Groove. This will summon everything to us. It'll make it easier to pick all the gold up. And also, this means we can get the extra power-ups here. Uh, specifically, the gold and one of the Meta uh, Metalagos will curse you and give you more enemies to kill, which means more money. And now we're just going to go ahead and max all four of these out. We also want the Silver Ring because it extends the duration of abilities. And I believe this includes the Gold, gold Fever. I, I don't know that for sure, but I believe it extends the Gold Fever. And this also gives us the four little mini-bosses here that give us a couple of free extra eggs. Well, four specifically. In the grand scheme of things, that really doesn't matter with how many eggs we're getting. But, you know, more eggs, more better. One of the reasons the meta, uh, the um, the mad groove is so important is because we have such a wide area that we're killing things in, that bringing all the stuff off the edges and to you for you to get it more easily is very important. Otherwise, we'd have to go all over the map to pick everything up. Even though we do have a huge magnet area, um, our magnet is uh, almost 40k as well, but we're killing things way off the screen, so the bringing them in every couple minutes is very helpful. 
Next up, we've got our next Arcana here, our next Randomazo. And for this one, I recommend the Sarabond of Healing. This will put out a little extra DPS um, that'll help you in case... Because we're very high level, which means the enemies are also very high level. So you might run into a little bit more trouble killing them at this point. So the random the uh, Sarabond of Healing definitely helps out with that. It also helps you break the light switches, which gives you more gold. And there you have it. You are now set up. You can AFK this farm and make tons of gold. The longer you go, the more gold you'll make because you'll keep building up that greed with your character level. But you have to balance that out with the fact that you want to go spend your eggs and get more eggs. Or you want to spend your gold and get more eggs. So that's kind of a balancing act that you'll have to choose for yourself. But uh, I made a video on this, but I'm going to give you guys a bonus tip now and show you how to spend all your gold at once. Uh, even though I did make a video on this uh, instead of sending you to that video, I'll go ahead and show you that here as a little bonus thank you tip. Now to spend all your gold at once, we're going to take our trouser. This is the character we want to buy the eggs on. And we are going to go ahead and uh, none of this matters, really. We need to go into the Moon Golo stage. None of this matters. Leave it the same. Change it. Whatever. Doesn't matter. We're going into Moon Golo. And none of this matters. But it's not going to let me move because we're just going to level up to max right away. It's not going to let me do anything else. So I just got to get this done real quick. Now that's done. Oh, I got to turn that off. Okay, I can't. But anyways, we just got to go straight north here for a little bit. Until we get to the Eggman. Alright, I got to turn that down. Okay, there we go. That should be better. I couldn't turn it off because it won't let me get to the pause menu. Oh, there we go. Okay. I gotta I gotta turn the I gotta turn that off. There we go. It's just it's just too much. But anyways, we're going up to the Eggman here. He is way up north. Way up north. Just go straight north until you hit him. Okay, we must have lagged out and passed him. He's way down there, so we got if you lag out, you'll pass him, so just be aware of that. Now, just as a reminder to enable this boss, you have to have at least 5,000 eggs on your character, and you must have at least 1 million gold on you. And once you get him, you'll get this menu here where you can buy one egg at a time, or you can spend them all at once. And this is what happens when you do that. You'll get these, uh, it'll, it'll be going through here and showing you each one over and over again, and this will gradually fill up your screen. You can just quit this, and you will still get the egg. So if you want to watch this, go for it. Um, it'll take a long time if you've got a lot of eggs. But you can just go ahead and quit out of this. And I've got another bonus tip for you. So now, after you do that, I, I do recommend that you come down south to the quote-unquote healer. And this guy will let you reset your movement speed. And now you have to have 5,000 eggs for this guy to appear, and then you will have the top option, the Flames of Moon spell, where you can permanently remove 100 golden eggs randomly. And if you have 25,000 golden eggs, the bottom ability will appear here, the, here, the Lantern of Foscari, that will remove all speed bonus from golden eggs. Now, I do recommend you do this as the amount of speed you get can get very unwieldy. It makes it very hard to control and you'll miss a lot of your gold this way. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that and that will make my eggs disappear. And then we're done here. We can go ahead and quit out of this stage as soon as it'll let us with the lag. Now you can see our stats have gone up with our eggs going up, but our movement speed is the same since we reset the movement speed. Now I've got even more bonus tips for you here. Now, if you really want to min-max your gold making, you can go into the seal that you can banish items. It is in the power-up menu. You buy them, buy uh, all the seals in the power-up menu. And then we're going into collection, and you can banish things here. Now, to maximize our gold making, we want to only get gold from chests. So we can go ahead and banish the floor chicken. Uh, we can banish this and this. And this is not... Uh, we don't need any of that. Um, those are all gold. We could banish these, and um, is this the ability or the pickup? I think it's the pickup. Yeah, it's the pickup. There's the ability. So we can banish that if we want, and then we will only get gold out of the uh, light switches. 
So that's another way you can min-max your gold making. That's going to wrap up the guide. Thank you so much for watching. Get out there and earn those billions. And if you found this helpful, like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video.